Hey everyone, Will Yard Sales Vitalist here with my flea market finds for Sunday, July 22nd, 2012. Rained all day yesterday, Saturday, and uh, didn't make it, uh, couldn't make it out, find anything. Uh, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot today, but uh, end up spending like $260, so uh, kind of surprised me. It's a little bit more than normal, what I normally spend. But I found some neat things. Um, so let's uh, take a look. Here's the chickens down there. Hey boys, they're prettying themselves up. Maybe they'll come up on the porch. Uh, first up, uh, four U.S. gas cans, uh, jerry cans. Uh, gotta do a little research on them. I got some neat markings. U.S. That one's uh, USA. Um, this one's not old. So it's uh, USMC. That's not uh, U.S. United States Marine Corps. It's a United States uh, Metal Can Corp. Uh, twenty is twenty liters. Five is five gallons. It's a, so I guess it's 20 liters, 5 gallons. 91 is the year it was made. I think these others are older. I would imagine a can from World War II is uh, uh, more collectible than the others. Of course, they made these things by the millions uh, for, um, what, 50 years. So, not really worth a ton of money. Um, there's a guy that uh, takes, local guy takes these and he uh, cuts them in half, puts uh, latches on them and turns them into uh, toolboxes for uh, four-wheelers, off-roaders. Um, so I think I paid, I paid like six dollars a piece for these. Um, I think that's an easy twenty, maybe twenty-five. Good Craigslist item. This is pretty neat. It's a uh, Craftsman still in the case. This is like the first Dremel machine. At least I'm going to call it an antique Dremel in my uh, in my shop. Paid twelve dollars for this. It still runs. Got all the little bits and pieces to it. Uh, neat little piece. Uh, like all old time Craftsman stuff, it's built like a tank. Um, really nice that it has a box. Uh, got to do a little research for it. I don't think it's worth a lot, but uh, Dremel guys, uh, guys that like their Dremels, they really like their Dremels, and uh, I bet uh, there's somebody out there that would like to have a uh, antique one. Uh, so who knows? Uh, that might be a $50 bill there. Got a nice uh, machinist box. I've sold these in the past. Not quite like this, but uh, made by the company. Uh, I probably should have opened this up before I started filming. There it is. Always nice to have the key. It's a big plus. Uh, just really beautiful condition. Uh, made by Kennedy. Uh, very expensive stuff. Uh, you look, uh, look up Kennedy Toolbox on the uh, internet. And uh, you see, it's uh, their stuff goes for really good money. I paid thirty dollars for this, and this is an easy hundred, uh, maybe a hundred fifty. I haven't done any research, but uh, these boxes go for a lot of money. Um, so have to look into it a little bit. Really well made. Got the handles on the side. So uh, another Craigslist item there. I uh, got a nice, uh, this is a French bayonet. This is another one I should have uh, opened up before I started filming. Uh, I see the bayonets a lot of times without the scabbard. So this one has a scabbard. I paid 35 for this. Um, it's in really good shape. Nice uh, World War I uh, French bayonet. And I love how they mark these things. Um, 
not really focusing too well here. It's focusing on the background. But uh, it's in French. And uh, just really adds to it. They, they marked all their uh, bayonets like this. I think that's the Arsenal or the company where they were made. Um, so 35, that's an easy 100. Maybe 125 for that. Got a guy who had a uh, had a shop and uh, was selling his stuff off. I got this from him. Uh, nice German belt buckle. A little bit of uh, damage here on the side. But uh, got some nice hallmarks in there. Um, pretty sure it's original. You always got to be careful with the uh, World War II German stuff. They, they reproduce these things like crazy. Nice uh, armband made out of uh, got one, two, three, four pieces of material. Uh, well made piece. Uh, got some staining and all, but that kind of adds to it. Um, the uh, belt buckle was um, 40 and the armband was 35. So hopefully get um, 80 for the belt buckle and uh, who knows, maybe get a hundred for the uh, armband. Nice Remington uh, shotgun forearm. Still got the uh, original box, always a good thing. Uh, paid uh, $10 for this, and uh, I'm guessing that's for an 1100. Uh, have to double check, make sure, but uh, I think that's an easy uh, 40, maybe $50. Somebody has a uh, Crack forearm um, should sell well. Picked up a uh, little. It's marked uh, Hot Shots made by Mattel. 1970. Um, little dragster. You pull the string and it goes and it still works. Uh, paid two dollars for this and one just sold on eBay for twenty dollars so I'll probably put this in the shop clean it up a little bit put it in there thirty dollars or best offer see what happens nice little uh, shotgun scope made by uh, Weaver and uh, it's missing a little cap here on a uh, on the adjustment but uh, good shape. Once again, clean it up a little bit. Have to do a little research on this. Paid eight dollars for that. Bought a cylinder. Um, what I'm hoping this is. I'm hoping this is a, a cylinder to a, a Ruger single six, uh, 22 pistol. Um, they also had an option where you could get a 22 Magnum cylinder uh, to go with it. Um, so, I don't know if this is it or not, but, uh, I have one, so I'm going to give it a try, see if that works. Definitely looks like a, uh, 22 Magnum cylinder, so we'll see. That was $8, and, uh, if it, if it fits, I'm going to keep it, and if it doesn't, uh, i got to figure out what it goes to. Uh, neat little pipe. Uh, been doing well with pipes lately. Um, five bucks, nothing great. Uh, marked uh, Cuba Havana, so I guess a little uh, souvenir from Cuba. Um, not sure. Put that in the store and see what happens. Need a little watch box. I always like buying the uh, empty boxes. Um, Hamilton, I'm sure I got a uh, old Hamilton laying around that uh, will go right in there. Uh, paid ten dollars for that, but having a box really uh, ups the collectability and uh, value of the watch. Uh, this is a pretty neat lot right here. Had a guy who uh, cleaned out a house and he was like, I don't care, I just want to get rid of all of it. Um, most of this stuff's a dollar. 
So, patch here. Something to do with archery. It, pretty neat. 75, 75th, www. At the Floor de Lee up there. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Uh, that was a buck. This is neat. Old time uh, shoe stretcher. Uh, you turn the uh, handle there, like a cast iron handle, and that, that opens it up the more you turn it. That was a dollar. A couple nice uh, door handles. Solid brass, old time. Uh, got a nice uh, patina on them. I would, I'm just going to sell them as is. Uh, who knows, 20 bucks a piece in the store? Um, they were a dollar a piece. Got a big old clevis for myself. I'm always uh, needing a clevis for something, it seems, around here. Um, dollar, good deal there. Old time glass doorknob. Uh, seen better days, but uh, that should uh, clean up and uh, be nice and sparkly. Uh, who knows? Uh, not sure what these are bringing. Hopefully 20 bucks. Nice uh, Masonic really heavy uh, ashtray uh, dollar who knows another 20 25 this is neat little handheld uh, vice that was a dollar no markings on it but uh, neat piece this is a really finely cast uh, cast iron uh, just a uh, wall hook but uh, Really uh, nicely decorative, kind of looks Victorian uh, for a dollar. Uh, who knows? Maybe my maybe uh, my wife will want to keep that one. Uh, got a uh, Under Armour shirt uh, for my son, five bucks. Uh, it's been worn, but uh, Under Armour stuff's pretty expensive. If uh, he doesn't want it, that'll be going on eBay. Got some. Uh, Broadheads, um, ten dollars for the uh, set, and not sure what they'll bring, but uh, twenty-five, something like that, I think. This is neat. Kind of reminds me of uh, Dick Tracy, and I wish I had the whole gun, but uh, paid five bucks for this, and uh, just a cool-looking piece. Maybe I'll look around. Maybe I can find one uh, a gun that has the it's missing the front, but uh, G-Man gun, wind up, made by, I saw it here somewhere, oh, made by Marks, um, so, but not really worth a whole lot of money, um, but I liked it. Uh, Craftsman uh, Ratchet, got this for myself with the extension, that was two dollars. At the uh, three-quarter inch uh, extension made by uh, Williams, that was uh, two dollars. Hit that with a little uh, brass wheel, clean it up a little bit. Uh, it's expensive stuff. You go to buy that new. And last thing to show you, nice little uh, display case here. Got uh, I love the handle, I love the latch. Um, probably end up keeping this for myself it's got some uh, age on it and uh, I paid eight dollars for that and there you go uh, kind of short but uh, got a few good things and uh, like I said I'm gonna work try to get some stuff on uh, at my eBay store and uh, start turning this over this week so till uh, Next time, this is Will the Art Sales Survivalist, and uh, we'll talk again next week.